Are you ready for a kit that is so tricked out that it probably needs no upgrades? If you are, tune in for the Cross RC SG4B. So welcome to the unboxing of the Cross RC SG4B. It's a very intriguing kit from Australia and it is so detailed. It seems to be such high quality that it really caught our attention. It's 450 bucks, but what it promises is a lot of the common upgrades that you require that you think you need to do when you buy a track set or an axle you might not have to, it's already here. So rather than the traditional unboxing, we laid it out. And as I talk about it, I pull the bags up. I'm gonna put in some detailed shots. Um, so we're gonna try to make this as seamless uh, and as informational for you as possible. So here we go. So first of all, it's called the Demon SG4B. They, they was, I think the company was uh, built by an engineer and all the naming was built by an engineer because it makes sense to them, but not to the common consumer. I looked at the website like 10 times before I finally understood what the model names meant. SG4B is their, 400, uh, their, their middle of the line and their RC crawler, and the B is the mid-level one. So the, um, uh, but comparing the, the B to the A, it's, it's pretty much all there. It doesn't have a lot of, mach some of the machine details but a lot of the, 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 the nice stuff is here. So we think this is the sweet spot. But unfortunately, it only has a half cab. We kind of wanted a full body, but uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have the capability to uh, make this cool and creative. Not that a half cab isn't cool, but if we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some options for this body. So here we go, let's start out with the exterior. And right here, you'll notice that this is a different kind of kit because it has a hard body. So a hard body is kind of the hallowed ground of RC, RC, RC crawlers, where instead of Lexan, um, you actually have uh, a body of, of uh, molded plastic. And what it allows you is more detail, more detail, more realism. Um, so this is their, their body. Uh, they have uh, a hood, an engine detail so that you can paint a hood that opens up. I heard uh, there's magnets here that keep it on. Really fascinating. So this is bolted on to your chassis. You don't need those body clips and body pins. And uh, there's an elaborate half cab uh, that you build around it. So one thing we noticed with the hard body is uh, a lot of them are pretty fragile and you don't want to play with them. You don't want it to tumble down a, a, a ravine. This one looks like a very nice pliable plastic. So I think we'll take, it'll take some abuse. Uh, this other bag has their interior. It has a very cool and elaborate interior. They used a different kind of plastic, maybe so they could uh, print more details on it. Also has a, a very nice grill uh, with round headlights, uh, a bumper that looks very beefy. The, the body, by the way, and this uh, typical of most Cross RC is not, is not a licensed body. It, it looks to be some kind of Australian pickup truck or, or maybe something like a Toyota Hilux or something, but it's not quite um, a uh, licensed body. Probably save some cost there. Here is more molded parts, wipers, uh, what do you call these, uh, headlamp lenses, which are reflective, so they were actually Amplify the amount of light you have. If only you have lights, huh? Well, you do. And let me tell you, this is some of the best lights we've ever seen on a kit. First of all, most of these kits don't really have lights uh, or they're, they're include one LED. What these guys do is a PCB board, a board that has all the details, all the intelligence needed and they have a, an even a, an LED kit for your dashboard. Uh, that is insane. <laughs> so that's just not that's just a PCB board. Those are those are lights to illuminate your dashboard. 
So expect great things from our interior uh, on this one. This one is your windshield. Why do you need a windshield? Because it's a hard body. You don't have Lexan. Uh, and you don't have that Lexan that those guys paint and they put a black sticker on. Pet peeve of ours. Um, and because it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a special plastic, it's probably more clear than what Lexan can offer, which is super cool. Moving on here, we have the, the back of the vehicle, like right here. Um, some more plastic molded pieces. It's got a wheel well system, uh, very modern. One thing we'll say about this kit is when you think of things down the line, like, oh, I need to upgrade this, I need to upgrade that, they've already done it. I need to lighten this stuff. I need to make this out of metal. They've already done it. So they, are like, they seem like they're two or three steps ahead of the game. Uh, we really think engineers that are into crawling uh, built this kit because they're so far ahead of the game. Uh, and if you compare them to American companies or Asian companies, uh, it's really cool. Uh, the, the insight they bring from down under. Uh, I think they, took, they take their RC and their crawling seriously down there. So here's some more uh, molded pieces. Uh, I think this is for the door. Oh, one thing cool with this, because it's got an open door, is you can see the interior real, real well. <laughs> uh, we, we put a lot of work in our interiors, but a lot of times you can hardly see it. <laughs> um, more pieces. Not a lot of waste. Meaning you're probably going to use all of this, unlike uh, not it's a bad thing, like an axle where you have like three bags of plastic pieces that you don't you don't end up using. So there you go, and then we'll we'll uh, finish it off with something cool. Um, pull it out right here. This is your sliders, your rock sliders, and as someone who's dealt with five sets of rock sliders, I can appreciate this because it's low profile, it's metal, and it's slippery. It's something I would pay to upgrade 50 bucks for or some kind of money for because at the end of the day, you need something like this to perform. You depend so much on your sliders to get past those tricky sections and you want it to be out of the way and when they hit a rock, you want them to slide. So the, you already have it. The upgrade's already here. And finally, I'll close off the, the, this, the, the details. Oh, here's your interior. Nice, nice seats, nice bucket seats. Got some gas tanks, uh, some baskets. So they've, they've, uh, they're, they've thought of a lot of stuff. And that's just the exterior. Wait till we get in the actual vehicle itself. Okay, have you ever seen this? This is a winch that you get on a Traxxas, on a Red Cat, or whatever. Doesn't do anything. Cross RC says we don't want that. We want nothing or we'll give you a real winch. So boom, here's a real winch. Metal. Amazing. It's got a board on it too for some smarts, a controller. Um, so really cool. And their $550 mo model has a machined uh, winch, metal too, but more details. We don't need that. So it just gives you a glimpse of what went into this Cross RC kit that they have. By the way, they, uh, they're a company that specialized in uh, military vehicles. So if you've seen some, you wanna see, I will, we'll probably segue, splice in some edits of uh, military vehicles, $1,500 vehicles, eight wheel, 10 wheel vehicles. That looks so realistic. Those are Cross RC stuff. Uh, and they do kits uh, is what, what they really dwell on. You know, the, uh, they, uh, that's their business. Recently, about uh, a week ago, they introduced their first ready to run in the US. Uh, it's about 300 bucks. You know, they wanna, they wanna play in that game. They wanna compete with the uh, beginner market, the enthusiast, beginner enthusiast market. So we'll, we'll preview that as well. But you're gonna have a lot of that same thinking in a much simpler package, uh, ready to run, uh, that we'll put a link in the description. Okay, so now we got to this uh, bag right here, the bag of tires. And you know what they say about kit tires? You throw them away. Uh, we had uh, a Vanquish uh, recently, one of the, some of the worst tires. <laughs> we expected bad things, but they were some of the worst. Um, these tires, 
They give you five, first of all, which is cool. These tires look amazing. They're so soft. Uh, you're not super sticky. It's not a licensed uh, design, but it's so soft. And it's, a, it's got a nice design. It doesn't have that film on it that you see in, in, a, lot of, in a lot of kits that they don't work for the first three battery loads. Uh, you gotta wash them off. Looks good. And an even better surprise is it has this foam that is dual stage. Dual stage, who does that? This, this is like 15 bucks a pair, maybe 20 bucks a pair from Crawler Innovations. And they have it stock. This is a, uh, what do you call that? Closed cell foam, uh, much control. Uh, and this is a very soft foam. So you, this is a heavy vehicle because it's all metal, pretty much. So you need a closed cell foam, uh, a stiff one for your side-to-side -side stability, and you need a soft one to allow the tire to grab. So just, just genius. Love it. Okay, we're going to move on to the wheels and tires. Another stroke of genius here. So you have bead locks that are metal. Alloy metal bead locks. How cool is that? It's got a ton of bolts, screws. Better have a drill for that. Um, the, uh, the rings are machined. The hubcaps, the center caps are machined aluminum. So cool. And then, and then we noticed, oh, they cheaped out on the, on the spare tire. They made it plastic. But then our builder, Randy, goes, no, they didn't cheap out. They were thinking. You don't want your spare tire to be that heavy because it's probably in the back. So they said, why don't we make it out of plastic? Save some weight. Which is what I actually do on my other vehicles. I put a smaller tire, a lighter tire on the spare tire. So it looks realistic, but it doesn't hamper performance. So just the kind of thought they put into it. All right, so we're gonna move on. Not sure I can do this all in one video. It might be like 30 minutes long, but uh, we're gonna power through. So next thing is the, the chassis itself. It's a C-channel type chassis. It doesn't look like the thickest material in the world, but uh, it's got some good rigidity to it. It is an 11.8 inch wheelbase. Uh, so not that long, but you know, could, could be quite a performer. As you can see here, it's got, uh, it's got good approach angle, good departure angle with this body. Uh, we expect good things out of this. It's not portals, so don't be looking for, for portals out of the box. Um, and then we move on to the motor. Motor is super interesting because the, the gearbox is a planetary. It's uh, right there, on the, uh, right on the motor already. So you don't need to assemble it. They, do, they didn't want you to screw it up. So why do they do this? They, did, they do this uh, first because they know how, know how, you know, these are not the easiest to, to make reliably, but uh, uh, they, have the, they have the engineering to do this and it gives them low profile. It's low profile, it takes less space. They stick it into the, uh, right, right under the dashboard. Um, you know, it, it's pointed this way. So it's gonna give you the best uh, clearance and center of gravity is what we think. They have a transfer case that's all metal. It's already built. So this allows you to move the, um, the power from the motor to the wheels. Input, output, output. And you have an extra output in case you want to run uh, more wheels. And then, oh, what do you call this? Your axles. Beautiful. So they're plastic. Um, they're already pre-built, kind of cool, but very smooth. Um, you know, no burrs at all. Perfectly built. Uh, small pumpkin, love it. Nice, nice plastic material. Uh, it looks like it's gonna slide pretty good, and um, it looks pretty durable. Uh, no, no uh, extraneous sharp edges. Love it. And the steering angle looks awesome. It's got CVDs, hopefully 45 degree steering. So this is the front, the rear is over here. Uh, your 
drive shafts, your front and rear drive shafts are a thing of beauty because they're metal. Wow. These are like 60 bucks at least if you had to buy them uh, and they're all here already. There's three of them. So amazing. So when you, when you, um, when you want to really just power through um, and put the beating, put the hurting on your vehicle, this is, this is what's needed. Metal universal drive shafts. Um, you can put a brushless on this if you want, you can handle it. Metal links, um, more scale parts. It has a lot of these aluminum diamond, uh, diamond plates, diamond sheets for realism. So metal uh, hooks. So, and uh, just powering through the rest of it, the uh, shock oil 50 weight is what they use. Uh, their shocks are metal, all metal. Even the caps are metal. So super impressed with them. Hardware, uh, a lot of stainless steel hardware where needed, where, where it's gonna hit a lot of water. So there we go. Um, we have a manual or some engineer drew it by hand, it seems like. 36 pages in small print. Probably not the first kit you want to assemble. I'm sure it's uh, into an intermediate level, not a beginner level, like a, like a Traxxas or, or a Tamiya. So this is going to be an exciting build for us. Cross RC, um, they have uh, an Australian company. They have a distributor in the U.S. supporting them in, I believe, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. A-Main Hobbies uh, has all the parts, spare parts for you. So very exciting because it's 450 bucks, a lot of money, but in the long run, it's probably a really good value because you don't have to upgrade everything. You don't have to spend 100 on tires, 100 here, 100 on LED and whatnot. So we'll, we'll do the math for you, but it really um, competes with a Vanquish, which is a $900 kit. Um, and you know, with the resurgence of kits, with the interest in kits, you know, now that people got hooked with the, with the axles in the TRX-4s, uh, we have the Unimog, uh, we have the new uh, Traxxas TRX-4 sport kit. Uh, really exciting area. Uh, area of RC crawlers because not only do you get to crawl with it, but you get to enjoy the build and personalize it as you put it together. So there you go. Subscribe because we're going to have a series of this. Follow, follow this baby through as we, as, as we push it out. And if, 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 I, uh, if my suspicion is right, this is probably going to be done in a couple days <laughs> because our builder is going to be very excited to put this thing together. All right. Thanks a ton.